morning, sharks. Hello. Happy Thursday. Boop, 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 boop. Um, really quick, touching on something. I have, uh, I, I tried, I'm not even going to lie to you, probably a couple, ten times, to record a video yesterday for Instagram, but I kept crying uh, because I was so sad and just very emotional um, about school being closed for the rest of the school year. So please know that um, it's so difficult and hard to know that I'm not going to see you guys. Um, I am tearing up right now. So uh, please let me know if you guys need anything. Please let uh, anybody know if you need anything. If it's your other teachers or the counselors or the principals, email us. We are an email away, and um, we are here for you. And even though we are apart, we are together. We are going to get through this together. Uh, we're here for you. Yeah, so anyways, um, that was a huge bummer yesterday. Um, okay, so moving on. Uh, photo P here, okay. You're going to go ahead and create a new project. And we are not going to do our typical 8 and a half, uh, by 11 because this document actually is going to be more of a square shape. Um, so what you're going to type up here, I'm just going to have you manually type it in. So what you're going to type in here for the new project is just call it my logo or whatever your company name is. Okay, if you have like, mine's called Two Hearts, you can call it Two Hearts logo or something. Um, sorry, I can't even type today. All right. And then before you start typing in the width and the height, please recognize that it is in pixels. PX means pixels. So you need to change this all the way to the bottom IN, which is inches. All right, and then it'll just pop up some different numbers. We just want to type in 8 by 8, and then your DPI is 300. So it should be a square looking. So 8 by 8, 300, make sure it says inches. If it's pixels, it'll be super tiny. And then we're going to click Create, and there it is. So this is where you're now going to draw your favorite sketch. So whatever sketch you like the best, or if you came up with something overnight uh, and you want to start fresh and read, go ahead. All right. So um, just make sure, remember that you cannot use anything that's already existing, pre-existing copyright. So no Nike swooshes can be used. No, um, please don't copy the target symbol. Please don't copy. You know, uh, if you're if you want a tiger, don't go online and just trace a tiger. You can use tiger images for inspiration or for help or for reference. Like, oh, I forgot what a tiger's, you know, eyes look like. So pull up an image of a tiger. That's fine. But um, please refrain from tracing because remember you're, even though you're not just copy pasting, you are tracing someone else's work. So it's not okay. All right. So uh, just to start, I mean, that's it. I'm, I'm, this is what you're doing. You are going to go ahead, depending on your design, and start uh, drawing on here. You can draw with your, um, you know, your mouse, your touch screen, your keypad. Don't forget, if you need shapes, down here are some shapes. Like mine starts with a, um, a circle. If you come up here, you'll notice that it says fill and stroke. Fill is going to fill in the circle as a color. Okay, stroke is going to be the outline. So if you click like a color, let's say it'll do red, but I want black. Okay, and then I get rid of the fill. So now I'm going to have, when I draw the circle, just um, a black outline, which it should be black. And for some reason, is that, oh no, it's, it's black. Um, and then this is going to be the size of the thickness uh, of the outline of the circle. Okay, so you can do this with every shape. That blue is just um, because I made the shape. So once I click off, it'll... Be, uh, that blue will, that blue will go away. Okay, and then obviously you can still resize it and stuff from there. Um, if you want another shape, custom shapes. Remember, custom shapes up here. If you click, there are some shapes that you can use here too. If you need anything like um, different than what we can make, for example, there's a paw print, soccer ball. Click the one you want. It'll show up here, and then you're just going to drag and stretch and drop. Okay, see how that blue went away around that circle? So the blue does go away. It's just um, showing you what you're working on. So if I click on this, see the blue comes back and the blue's off on the um, paw. So just, you know, just realize that it'll it'll change. Uh, it'll go away. So don't, don't be upset about that. All right, 
If you want to change the colors to something that is other than what is available, so for example, when I create my, that was a lot of words I just said, <coughs> excuse me, when I create my shape, okay, and I go to fill um, or stroke, let me go back to here, actually let's make a, let's make a square this time, a rectangle, okay, when I go up here to stroke, and it only gives me these colors. I don't like these colors. I want a different color that I've made on my own. Um, you're going to have to right click, rasterize your shape, and then you can go get your paint bucket. <coughs> Excuse me. Your paint bucket, and you can change, you know, you can customize a color and then paint it. Make sure you're clicking on that border. There you go. So if you try to click it now on um, all any of these other shapes, like right now if I try to click this, layer is not editable, you need to um, rasterize, remember, and then you'll be able to paint these, okay? So those are just some tips and tricks if you need some shapes, uh, some different things that you're having a hard time drawing, uh, especially circles I know are difficult. So um, please know that this is your canvas, so I want it to be as large as you can make it on this canvas. So for example, if my whole entire design, which I hope not because this is too simple, but if my whole entire design is this paw print, oops, hello, make sure you're on the right layer, um, this paw print and this circle, I'm going to make sure that this paw print and this circle take up a majority of this square. So don't make it teeny tiny in the little middle of the square. Make sure it's nice and big and taking up as much as you can. If you also have text or font, remember that you can add text by clicking the T and then clicking um, onto the screen. It's going to auto 24 pixels. That's really small. If you see, I'm pointing, you can't see what I'm pointing at. <laughs> if you see this, it's very small. So you can go ahead and adjust it, make it bigger right now. And you can even make it bigger after that. I'll show you how. If you are someone that has text, OK? Sorry, my computer is lagging like some hardcore here. Two hearts design. You can highlight this and even manually type in something bigger, OK? And then obviously we know we can change oops, this one, the font size here, okay? Or I mean the font style. So you can pick a font that you know you like better. All right, this is obviously too big, so you can shrink it this way, or you can just go in there and you know uh, change the change the size again, but whatever works for you, okay? So just mess around this way. Remember this whole entire square is your uh, is your logo. So do not make it super teeny tiny in the middle. You want it nice and big, so um, when we save it, you can actually shrink it if you need to for some other projects or make it bigger. Um, right now, it's at a really good size. It's 8 by 8 DPI, so the 8 by 8, 8 inches by 8 inches, it's fairly large. Um, so when we shrink it, it won't lose any of that uh, quality. You know, sometimes when we make enlarged things, it gets pixelated and stuff, so it won't do that because it's already pretty big. All right. <sighs> if you have any questions, email me. Love you guys. Miss you. Um, thanks for listening. I hope this helped you. And my dog is barking because who knows why. I don't know. He's getting used to me being home all the time, and sometimes he likes to just drive me nuts. I don't know. He just barks at me and barks and barks. Okay. Uh, that's it for now. Have a great day, and I will talk to you soon. Um, oh. Some of you are going to ask when this is due. Uh, if you don't get it done today, update your progress, and you can finish it tomorrow. Um, if you get it done today, then great. Submit it. Um, that's it. We're going to start our next logo design project. I'm going to introduce it tomorrow, probably, um, or Monday, just depending on how this goes. Guys, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm watching what you guys are doing and seeing, you know, if you have, <clears throat> I'm to make sure I'm giving you enough time for these projects. So, okay, I'll stop, I'll stop rambling. Bye.